Hello there, I'm Aldra Hill and welcome back to some EQ4 playing France in 1537. We are in the 1.30.3 patch and I'm recording this off stream. And I do sometimes stream this series on my channel, so if you are interested in watching some more good stuff by me on Twitch, you should go do so at twitch.tv slash Hill. Now, the path of where to go next is dubious. We are colonizing currently. Uh, trying to grab additional people around us and just trying to grab trade control in this particular area But the one thing I would like to do is to try and attack people obviously I'm working on getting some claims. I'm also working on building back my manpower. We have a multitude of excellent personal union partners and vassals um, I very much would like to integrate some people because we have way too many bros. Oh my god way too many Oh my god. Thankfully we have a 345 right now. And we're about to get a 451 as well. Uh, we are still working through our ex offensive ideas, but we very much do need to try and get rid of some of the personal union partners we've got. Uh, we could try and wait until we get to influence ideas, but I'm not 100% sure what precise path I want to go with that just yet. We have a lot of very strong allies. My hope is to try and kill England quite soon. Well, I have to wait 10 years for the truce because luckily no one gives a crap about them, which is awesome. And my immediate next claims are over here. And I believe if I go down my mission tree uh, with annexing Alsace, I have to take three provinces here. I get AE impact reduction and then claims over the, the rest of all of this. And then I get claims on all of that. And then once I've got that, oh, I have to kill the emperor, don't I? Yes, I have to have less than one member of the Empire, and that's what gives me Poland. So that's going to be really hard to do. It's going to take me a long time to get that. But if I do the Helvetic Conquest, I get some, some of that as well. Uh, and if I just get this little bit there, I do get monthly autonomy change. So to be honest, there's not a lot of missions right now. It's really just kind of killing things a lot. Just kind of a lot of killing things, really. Anytime I get claims, I need to start moving. And I think right now what I need to do is I need to start moving in the west. I need to start pushing people to attack Morocco. I want to take a look at the missions for Castile right now. Because my hope is that they would try and move a bit more into Morocco, but it doesn't look like they are. Um, what is the areas here? It is... the area is central Morocco and North Morocco. Okay, do they get claims? Do they get claims? Do, 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 do. Right, they have to have converted all of Iberia, which they have, but they have not reclaimed Andalusia in the upper Andalusian area. So if we want Castile to get claims onto Morocco, we need to take Gibraltar. This is a very useful thing to do to always be going through the missions to see what your various personal union partners have to say about it. So, as we can see, that if we do that, they will get... So, Fate of King of Granada, which is great, and then they get Convert Iberia, which will get claims on Malta and North Morocco. And then once they've got that... Yeah, once they've owned all of North Morocco, one of which is owned by Sail, they get Garb and Algiers. And if they have the correct culture... They don't want to get any of the claims. Okay, so they don't actually get a lot of claims. It's a, it's a little annoying. It's a little annoying. Okay. I really just wanted to see if I can get as many claims as possible, you know? They have to own all of this, and they will never get that. Okay. This is why I do kind of want to do this. Spend a little time just making sure that we have the right missions going forward. And no. It is not... A ah, damn. Reclaim the Ducal Lands. They can't... Why haven't they done this mission already? Why is the mission deactivated? Oh, because I, I'm the one who gave back their provinces, so that won't get them claims and everything else. That's to stop you being able to just utterly annihilate the world with a Mil Milanese vassal, isn't it? Well, that's just bullying me. And look, independent nation, yeah, all of their missions are tied to independent Naples, so, and they've never been independent because I kept stealing them. Oh, well. There's basically no way to get... Oh, no! If they... Oh, it's not a subject nation. Okay, leaving you alone. I do also have Aragon. Um, and they're never going to get that. They're not going to get that. They're not going to get that. Oh, they're not going to get... I'm not going to get any claims anywhere. So I could actually get... If they had... If all of Naples was owned by Aragon... Well, that's not going to happen. And then we've got Scotland. Bank of Scotland. Advance the front... Ah, okay. If we give them all of Northern England... 
because obviously they have to do return calls in the next war. But if we give them all of Northern England, they also get claims on Northern England as well, because I would very much like to have quite a strong vassal in Scotland, which I will then annex at a later point so as to try and maintain as much admin power as possible. I don't know, man. I think we just have to start moving into Africa. So I think we might just do that. We're obviously building claims still quite a bit. I, I'm, I'm trying to improve relations with Portugal, but to be honest, I think I'd rather just attack them. Right, I'd rather just kill him, frankly. Got so many damn things. Uh, we've got 21k up there. Got 32,000 that way. I think I would like to move my guys mercenaries over there to fight over here instead. Because there's not really any reason why not to attack them, right? Can we get a claim on this? Yeah, let's just let's just attack Fulo and full annex them. Why not, right? Let's just conquer a bunch of stuff. Ooh, and Holt returned. Okay, and how many transport ships do I have? I only have 13. That's a bit distressing. Can I actually transport them? Yeah, no, I can't. I actually cannot move these transport, these guys, because there's, the army is just simply too large. So we're going to have to move our army itself. It's a bit annoying. Let's just move 29,000 men up that way. And away we go. Give them a little time. And obviously we are still very, very rich, which is excellent. And we're going to just keep exploring. Yeah, we're, we're making a very large amount of money. And with that money, we do need to be putting more stuff into buildings. We also want to keep an eye on our governing capacity. In fact, we are almost there. So we need to be building more governing capacities. Yes, 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 yes. So... Um, I really care more about the governing capacity. So this is the province governing cost minus 25%. Okay, so we really just want to go for the highest dev provinces we have. And do I did I not put development in here? Oh no, I don't think I did. That's a shame. I'm going to put it underneath institutions. It's always good to have things prepared under your individual slots so you know exactly where things are and where they're going. So, Anjou, it's got one. This one, it's got one. Nemour does not have one. So there we go. That should lower the governing capacity. Does it actually say the governing? No, I have an alarm firing that tells me to fix my stream elements. All right, I'll look at that later. Da -da 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 -da. Let's keep going. <laughs> I little alarm because my stream elements is just like messed up. It's very frustrating. Uh, in Nabunwa, oh my God, why haven't I put this here already? We gotta put this basically everywhere we have any kind of dev whatsoever. It's it gets pretty expensive to do all this. There we go. Excellent. And hopefully that will lower what we've got. Do do do. And that is a royal marriage offer from Bohemia. Now unfortunately, I don't really want a royal marriage from you because I am not sure if I will be keeping your alliance or not. I think I could maybe improve relationship a little bit with them. I wish I was career controller. Oh, that'd be so much better. Wouldn't that be better if I was career controller? We're getting lots and lots of explorations, which is good. Yeah, I mean, I'm also trying to conquer into Mexico. would actually be quite smart as well. Just grabbing a few very, very powerful vassals. Um, I think influence ideas does need to be next. Uh, that's fine. I don't really care about that. I'm just going to... Keep seizing land. Boop. Oh, yeah. Give me that crown land. Oh, that's good. Okay. Uh, we check another transfer plan in England. We have some Genoese separatists. Oh, vassals could take care of that. No problem. Oh, no. Fulo's being killed. No fair. I wanted to kill Fulo. That is not okay. That is so rude. Who is, Mess who is Messina? I don't even know who this is. Okay, well, I'm just gonna build some claims on them. I'm guessing that Mali is about to conquer them all, so we might as well just take everything. Uh, let them handle it. And grow for the port of Aruba. Ooh, yes. Excellent. Rains fall in Guinea. Great. And... Ooh, the golden discovery. Ooh, 
what I found this. Get 800 ducats? What? Eureka. What the hell, man? I want that. But I have it. Me. Do you get gold? This, did they just start making gold then? No, what? Where's, where have they colonized? Hey. That's confusing. The golden city of Chibola in Villarica. No. I'm so conf Oh, it's because I've got the exact matches only. That's why. Nope. Okay. Chibola. No. Okay. Inside Griff Fiercely. For every ounce of gold. 800 golds. Villarica. Four base tags. Wow, that's really good, but I don't know where that is. They don't seem to have any other colonies in this area. That's very perplexing. None of these have gained piles of dev, unless it was this one. That is a lot of dev, actually, so it could have been that one, but... That's not... that's not gold. That's not what gold looks like. Portugal's getting tons of colonizations. We need to start punishing them for their transgressions. Uh, let's go protect trade in the English Channel. I've had some advice that I should be not be transferring trade in Bordeaux, and instead I should be putting them into Genoa. But I don't have much control in Genoa. I'd rather be pushing things that way. Okay, so like I said, ooh, Portugal has just left the military coalition against us. Now, we obviously have a very large coalition, but I love it. That's great, because now we can declare war on them and take a big pile of stuff. I would quite like that. Uh, now, does... Here's what I want to check. I want to check something. Does the Spanish mission tree require Portugal? I think... Or, yeah, recover Portugal. And no, they just gain power, so no one actually cares. So all they need to do is own that province. That's absolutely fine. I don't care about that in the slightest. Brilliant. To be honest, I don't really need this area. I might just give it all to Castile. Because I really do not need this gigantic chunk of Portugal. It's just not really giving me anything. Because I don't care about the Seville trade node. It's not helping me because I can't pull it. So I might just... I mean, I wanted it for... Well, no, I have my vassal, so it's fine. Okay, so let's just declare war on them. Do-do-do. And they have literally no allies, so... I am not going to automatically raise maintenance. And yeah, pretty easy fight. Ooh, they actually have all the stuff. They have the claims. Great, so take take Gibraltar. I might as well just give it to Castile. They're very strong. There you go. You probably shouldn't have left the coalition, buddy. That was... I gotta say, that was pretty stupid of you. Like, I wouldn't... I, I wouldn't have done that. But you did it anyway, so here we are. Ah, oh, my treasurer died. Uh, inflation reduction, production efficiency. I mean, I can afford, even with full maintenance, I can afford 28. So, why not go production efficiency? Boop. Why the hell is this guy so quick, so weak? I don't know. Let's go plus three. Excellent. Okay. Now we'll send our mercenaries that way, and Castile will just kind of run on down, beating people up left, right, and center. We will assign uh, Mike to down the south, and kind of just get ourselves ready. Poor payments. Ooh, a new cardinal. Lovely. Still not the damn Curia controller, though. Uh, and our vassals will just kind of take care of this for us. We don't really care about how this is going, but I will... Just beat up their armies for them. Because i got the mercenaries. I might as well. Ooh, they're actually kicking my ass. Oh, I'm fighting in the mountains. That's why. Ooh, did Tuscany just pop? Tuscany just popped. Hello, Tuscany. You're in a coalition against me, aren't you? Can't, can't stop that. Great. And we stack wipe them. Bye-bye. So let's go siege everything. Might as well. Do-do-do. I believe I pretty much have to... Oop, blockade. Uh, I don't care. 
Ooh, Maximilian the Honor. Gain with stability and fort maintenance or 50 prestige. Don't give a crap out prestige. Thank you very much. That's essentially free power. Come on. Thank you. That's a new idea. I don't care about that idea. Oh, so close to tech cost reduction. So close to tech cost reduction. I need it in my life. Um, we could be getting innovat innovativeness. And innovativeness is actually really, really good. Because as you stack up innovativeness, it does start to really get reduced power costs. I'm wondering... I mean, I'm, how many? I, I might wait one more year and then I might just waste the admin points to go ahead of time again because I really do want to be ahead of time. Okay. I think clearly the next conflict is going to have to be... Yeah. So we're going to be able to fight Morocco and Mali at the same time right now, which is great. And that was Cape Coast, which is brilliant. Let's get the Ivory Coast. Nope, can't get the Ivory Coast. Let's get the Gold Coast. There you go. Let's go to half maintenance. Let's actually give them a general so they don't get destroyed again. Too much. <laughs> okay. And we're just sieging this down as we wait. Pretty easy conflict. And again, we are kept alive by the sheer number of our myriad vassals. But getting influence ideas, I think, is of extreme importance. Because in terms of the uh, policies that I can get, it's not great. It's just dip rep and mercenary manpower. Whereas if I go with influence ideas, I mean, the limited desire subject is great. The annexation cost reduction is amazing. One relation. Is there only one relation you can have? That's, that kind of sucks. Is it? Yeah, so it is still only one relation. It's a bit annoying. I swear I thought it was more. Yeah, because it's two reputation and one relation. Damn. Uh, and I can get a further dip annex cost reduction, which is great. And with offensive ideas, I can get one more relation. So that's good. That's these policies are actually very, very good. Um, and I believe there's something else I want. If I get if I had innovativeness, I could get AE impact, but I don't care about AE at this point, to be honest. It's a bit too late. Uh blah, 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 blah. no. However, there is a couple of good policies in Diplo that are very good. Uh, scrolling down with my eyes. If you go quality, you get monthly war exhaustion, but I think we still need to go influence just so I can annex things a bit cheaper because I can only have so many damn vassals. Oh my god, how many cardinals am I going to get in this game? Goodness me. Oh, almost teched up there. So let's just tech up to tech 12. So we are now 17 years ahead of time, but look at that innovativeness. That is lovely. And every year I get about 0.05 two more. That's Siege of Quetta. Good, good, good. And now we'll just get that while everyone else is sieging people down. Great. There are still, of course, a myriad of small islands that are going to be very annoying to have to deal with. That's such it is. And it looks like Denmark is actually the, doing the colonizing ahead of us, which is interesting. We also get Tech 11 for that colonial range. Always a good idea to stay ahead in Tech. Looking good, looking good. Okay, keep moving. Ooh, we've just got a shanty. Okay, so we very much do want to build spy network on a shanty. All right, my 451 and a 341 air. You're not very good, are you, Dauphin? I'm so sorry. I'm going to wait until I do what my personality trait is, but I'm going to kill you. I'm sorry. You're quite bad. Truce of Scotland is over. Oh, he's careful. E impact. That is surprisingly good. So obviously this just killed my prestige, but I'm about, I'm about to get some more anyway, so I don't really care. Uh, and that is all the claims I can get on good old Mali. And there's a rebellion in Sutherland, which the Scottish are quite literally incapable of handling on their own. So let's keep trying. Let's keep going. Let's send the forces over there to help out the Scottish and see what we can do. Get some claims. I just want to try and beat up as many people as possible, basically. Um, and we are just going to basically make these guys trade companies as soon as they're done. Do, 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 do. I mean, why not? So we give you less tax and manpower, but increases value for trade. The only problem is there's not really a lot of point in putting this. Oh! It increases its governing cost. Oh, I'm being stupid there. I don't want to make this a bloody trade company. That increases its governing cost. That's a bad thing. I don't want that. 
All right, land, there's land force limits modifier. Beautiful. And then the next one's going to be 5% discipline and the recovery on morale speed, which I'm very much looking forward to. Careful maneuvering. England is now increased their opinion of me. I don't care at all. Not even a little bit. And there's the Siege of Tangier. Now, in terms of peace deals, um, I don't want any of this. This is all belonging to Castile now. Merry Christmas. Can I not just give... I want to give all of this to Castile. I don't care about any of this. I truly don't. Because I can just steal their money if I need to. Well, I'll give them all their claims. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. So, I want to prioritize these three. And in terms of the coalition it gives me, it puts a small pe number of people in a coalition, but it's not too bad. It's honestly not that bad. It's a bit annoying that I can't take more. Because these sods are being very rude. I might take this. Uh, just to stop them colonizing around me. Because they're, they're doing that thing again where they're, they're grabbing stuff left and right. This is all these bloody islands. I'm going to have to vassalize them at some point. I think that's really all we can actually take, because otherwise it's going to put too many in a coalition. But it's going to get what we need to be able to grab all of this. So that's all I care about. Let's just do that. And then we're going to end their rivalries. Oh, nope, they don't want to end rivalries. Can I have war reps? I can. Good. Perfect. Excellent. So I got one province. This is just a small island. Now that should immediately make Castile do its missions. Yes! Okay. And they can then do immediately do the Convert Iberia, which they have. So now, yes, they've got claims. Great. So now we just have to fight Morocco. So in the next episode, we're going to be doing some fighting in Africa. We're going to attack Mali and call in Morocco, or vice versa, and take as much land out of them as possible, and as much of the northern land to Castile as possible. I was Al Dragon TV, and this has been some E4 playing France. Bye-bye.